Yeah. Okay, I'm here with Josh, the jokes life of Josh. That's your Insta handle, right? It is, yeah. Uh, and we're going to talk about music libraries. Josh, tell us a bit about you and uh, what kind of DJing you do. Uh, so I'm uh, mostly a house DJ. Um, make my own music as well, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> nice. And uh, where do you play mostly? Um, I... Brighton, because uh, I only just moved here. Uh, right. All that um, uh, Falmouth. Okay. Informal. Cool. Wow, that's a big jump. Uh, yeah, well, it's mostly because uni and house yep. buys and stuff. Are you loving Brighton? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm yet to experience a Brighton summer. So oh, I'm that. that'll be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially this one after COVID and all yeah. that. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be brilliant. So tell us about your music library. Where do you um, do your music discovery? Where are you finding your tracks? Where are you downloading them? That kind of stuff. Oh, so. Um, I was telling Remco yesterday um, that I uh, I use Spotify a lot. Yep. Um, and then SoundCloud, Bandcamp, yep. um, Vinyl. Yep. If I when I can afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, YouTube as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's just trying to find a. Yeah. And are you are you using the um, uh, recommendation? Uh, like the uh, Spotify radio mode or uh, like uh, YouTube recommendations to find tracks or yeah, you listen yeah. to stuff from artists you follow or what are you mostly doing? So like uh, recommended if something comes up, then I'll I'll give it a check it out. And if like uh, I'm listening to a track and I like it and then, you know, and then you just dive down like the recommendations, just like oh, the next track that you like and the next track that you like, that sort of thing. Yeah. And once you've downloaded your tracks, are you uh, putting in metadata to make sure you've got all the right artists and uh, yeah. genre and that kind of stuff yeah yeah i keep my i, I like to keep my file like folder very organized is it really organized it's super organized how organized so you have scale of one to ten eight oh, nine, okay yeah so it's genre subgenre, and then and is that folders on your hard drive um or in yeah. the which yeah. dj software do you use uh record box yeah 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 and so uh so you get the folders in your uh so you get the folders on your hard drive mm. then you import them into record box do the key analysis yeah i use mixed in key you as use, well so you send everything through mixed in key before it goes to record box yeah i do okay and then uh so once in record box you do the you're not doing the key analysis because you've already done that in mixed in key, but you get the beat grids. Are you checking your beat grids? Yeah, I always I always go through every song that I've imported to make sure that it, like number one is on one. You know, it's the right BPM. It's showing the right key. And do you adjust the beat grids a bit sometimes? How yeah. accurate do you think it is? Oh, so tunes that um, change tempo. Yeah, that's always wrong. Yeah, and then uh, tunes that are double time as well. Yeah, that's always wrong as well. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not it's not a lot of the time it's good. Yeah, it's not, it's accurate, but not all the time. Got it. Okay, cool. And then once you've got your tracks into Recordbox, how are you categorizing everything? Playlists in there? Is it similar? So uh, I go through this um, phase where I'll, so what I'll do is I'll make playlists on like SoundCloud and Spotify and stuff. So I'm already like umbrellaing things as house, techno, that sort of thing. Yeah. And then I do like go through several refinements where I'll just like get rid of tunes after the second time listening to them. And I don't like, you know, and then I'm and then constantly moving things to different fold, like fold, subfolders and stuff. Got it. Yeah. And when you're playing a gig, do you set up a playlist for that gig sometimes but like i've found that it's a lot more fun to just do it on the fly freestyle yeah yeah, yeah. nice and so when you're at the gig are you uh do you have a sense of the kind of tracks that you want to play or you just turn up and go um if i if there's a dj on before me and he's giving like you know and he's playing that vibe and it's going well with the crowd i might sort of continue that thread yeah um and if if i'm my first on i'll like try something if it doesn't work out i'll switch to a different thing and that's why i like having all the different genres laid out because then i can switch out and try different things amazing yeah. what about creating the vibe yeah yeah yeah. it's precisely amazing cool josh thank you so much for talking to us today my really pleasure. appreciate it dude thank you Mark. that was fun man yeah yeah <laughs>